Hi Cabbages, new video and today I said I was going to do a dolly video this week but sadly I can't, just things have popped up but I have got time to do like a Q&A sort of a rant video and I will say this when I make these videos, if you don't like them then I'm sorry, just wait for the next video but the comment section seem to say otherwise. So I thought I'd do like a little rant and Q&A video today. The questions I've written down are quite um, gloomy because I've been feeling a bit gloomy this week and I may explain that. And then the first question is, what is the weirdest thing you've done in public? The weirdest thing I've probably done in public, when I was 16, 17, so this was like 2010, I was walking home one day, and this is actually a thing I would say not to do. I had earphones in my ears, and I was not concentrating where I was going. So what I did is I was walking across this road, and I didn't realise that a car was coming towards me, and... Luckily, I didn't get knocked down, but the car was like run right in front of me. And what I did is I turned sideways and I got my hands and I went, Hoof, and I just threw them on this car bonnet and then just walked off. And the guy in the car just looked a bit shocked. He was a young guy, but from that moment onward, I never walked around with headphones in my ears again because that was quite dangerous. An embarrassing thing that you've never told anyone about probably what I've just told you um the most bizarre text you've received well that would be quite inappropriate and I was shocked about it and I blocked it what do you feel guilty about um probably some past mistakes I do think about them from time to time and I do think about like how it would have been if I didn't have done that or if I could have changed it and just things like that. Who would you reconnect with? Not many people I knew because I think a lot of people from recent years uh, have really shit on me. But if I did reconnect with anyone, it would probably be some of the friends I had during my hairdressing era maybe the next question how does your personality change around other people um oh it kind of depends who the person is like sometimes I could be a bit more calmer around certain people sometimes if I'm not really a big fan of the person I'm just quiet um, if I really don't like someone, I just give the evil eye and then just walk off. And if I'm at home, I'm normally a little bit moody at times. Yeah, apart from that, I don't really change all that much. And then it says, what stresses you out? What don't stress me out? <laughs> Health problems, fake friends, fake family, drama social media at times and then it says the next question when do you most feel alone probably at night or probably recently in my life in the past i'd say three years it, it's been quite lonely for me because a lot of my health problems a lot of my mental problems a lot of problems in general I just feel like people don't understand me or connect with me or I just get dismissed or I'm told it's not real that it's in my head and it can be discouraging to feel like that do you believe in love at first sight I don't know because that's never happened to me so I'm just gonna leave that what would you change about yourself like what would I make different one would probably be my weight. Another one would probably be my confidence. Because I'm not very confident in myself now. Probably to become a little bit more outgoing. 
because I'm quite introverted lately and I'm quite protective of myself. Do you believe in having one best friend? Yes, yes I do. How would you define beauty? I don't really. I think beauty comes in many different shapes and forms and ways. It's not just about the appearance. It could be the beauty within. So that is kind of how I define it. By not defying it. it. Keeps you going on bad days. Well lately. Probably doing my dolls stuff. Um, also keeping myself occupied. Um, music is another thing that really keeps me going at times. Um, kind of just doing things like I enjoy. If you were a ghost, would you haunt anyone? Honestly, no. I would not come back as a ghost. I've said this to people I've known. Once I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm not coming back. No, I'm one of these people. Once I'm gone, that's it. You're not going to see me again. You're not going to hear from me again. Why would I waste my breath coming back and haunting dickheads that are not worth my time when I could be in the spiritual realm having a bloody good time? No thank you. Nope. What's your dream house? Well, my dream house would be a nice little house in the countryside. Uh, I don't like big mansions. I don't like anything big, really. I just don't see the point in it. Like, why would you want 13 bedrooms and a pool? No, I'd have, like, a little country house, little garden, um, just think, like, a bungalow, maybe in the, out in the country, but not too cut off, because I like, to be in access to cities and that. Like, I'd have to be near a town. Have you ever been bullied? I think we've all been through that in our lives. I don't... I can't think of one person that really hasn't. There probably is, but... Nearly everyone I've known... have experienced being bullied in some way or another. And the last question... I think I've answered a question like this before... It says, do you have a healthy relationship with social media at the minute? And the answer to that question is yes and no. Sometimes it gets to me, sometimes it doesn't. And I think that's just what it is. And then that kind of leads on to my rant of the week. Like when I post something on social media, then they will post something maybe like within two hours after me. And, uh, and I think it's kind of a bit weird now. Like, I think they've kind of got a little bit of an obsession with me. I'm not going into details about that. But, yeah, it's kind of the same person I ranted about on my Instagram recently. Where they did a TikTok thing. And they was on a rodeo thing. And it wasn't the rodeo thing itself. Because loads of people do that. It's what they were wearing. Like, it was just so detailed to sort of like what I would wear. The wear, the shoes, the socks. And just how they presented themselves. And then when I looked at this throwback picture of me from 2011, it kind of almost looked like the same thing. But just a different person. And I was like, is this person like stalking me or trying to like, copy me in some way so I have blocked the person in a lot of ways and this is the same person that doesn't like me and and has been talking shit about me behind my back for like five years every chance they get they try and talk about me uh they try and make me look like a bad person when the fact is they are they're the ones that started the beef when I was just minding my own business. And you try to rise above it. But I think there's a few. There's not just this one person. But there's a few people that have really got on my nerves. And some of them 
close to me. And you try to rise above it and walk away. But for some reason they keep trying to like pull you down to their level. And the more you ignore it, the more they aggravate you. So sometimes I think you have to offend people that hurt you just for them to back off. And I'm not one that is confrontational because I don't like drama. I don't like being confrontational. But for these people that have hurt me, I think you have to tell them off a little bit. You have to bring them down a peg or two because... They just don't stop. And they think it's fun, like a little game to them. And you think, piss off, leave me alone and just mind your business and just go away. I am not in the mood. Life's hard enough as it is. Like, you don't need unnecessary shit. And that's all I'm going to say. And I'm sorry that this rant video is a bit gloom and these Q&A questions are a bit gloom but you know I just wanted to express myself a little bit today and on my channel and just see how it goes it may not be a good thing it I, I agree and I have got some new dolls coming so be prepared for next week to go back on form with the dolls and I will see you soon Bye.